I wanted to talk about the pendulum versus a permanent sweeper. Um, but before we do that, I just want to go over some basics um, just in case people aren't familiar with why we do it. Um, so given this setup at the moment, we've got greens uh, attacking and we've got reds defending. Um, and as you can see, the backfield, uh, this space is unguarded, so it's completely undefended. Um, so what you find in leagues between sort of beginner and A grade, what's quite common is you'll have um, a player kind of somehow snake their way through, maybe hips or something, miss tag, whatever, they get through, and then they've got all this space to run around in, uh, and you might have a female player sort of flood through, and then one will give to the female player, bang, and two points. Or if this is a female player, they just go straight through. <laughs> Completely undefended. Uh, and obviously that's not great, because if there is, because mistags do happen, um, sometimes there's misnumbering, and for any reason, a player can maybe get through. And it, this it, once they get through this line, essentially when they're here, that's, that's a try scored, um, and that's not great. Um, so you want someone in the backfield. So usually if there's someone here, if a, if a line break happens here, this player now is 1v1 on this player. So they still have to beat this player. Um, and if they do, I mean, fair play. Um, but it's so much harder having a 1v1 in the backfield um, there. So it's always good to have something protecting the backfield. Um, in terms of kicks, this is more important uh, at sort of Super League level when you have the 50 tens, uh, which are these things at the top. So if we have, um, let's say, player number one um, kicks the ball and it goes all the way through here and out between these two points, the greens get a roll ball on the 10 meter line. So they get the ball back here and then they have six tags to attack the line. So this is really, really powerful. It's like really strong. Um, and so it's so important for the defensive team to be able to protect the 50 tens here and here. Uh, they want to protect the backfield and they also want to protect the box, which is uh, this space here. Um, because in Super League, if you score inside the box, you get an extra bonus point. So in mixed Super League, if a female player scores in there, it's three points. Uh, and if a male player scores in there, it's two points. So there's two ways of defending the backfield. Um, one way is a permanent sweeper. Um, so if we have someone who just stands in, in the backfield at all times and is basically covering this entire in this entire space. Uh, that means that if there's any line breaks, they can sort of sweep up there. If there's a short kick, so if this player, sort of a Dan and Powell character, does a little short kick here to try and regather for themselves, they can either regather or make the tag there. And it's like minimum um, meters made. <laughs> Guys, stand! Yes! Uh, also, if they try and go for a kick through here, hopefully you can sort of stop that and uh, cover the 50-10 and then return um, for yards. What's really important here is that this line, obviously you're with a permanent sweeper, this player almost never, pretty much never will come into the line. The only time that they'll come back into the line is if you're defending on your own try line, because obviously you don't need a sweeper here. So anywhere here, you don't need, you don't need a sweeper because, you know, you don't really kick. Defensively, as a permanent sweeper, this player is never going to come in. So that always means that there's eight attackers versus seven players. Or if you're playing mix, uh, if you're playing be anywhere between beginner and A grade, you might just have seven players. So you would have seven in attack and six in defense. You always, always have someone in the backfield, which means that you need to make sure that this defensive line is very, very, very tight and working really hard in the drift. If you are sort of defending wide like this, if you've got all your players wide, you're giving this permanent sweeper a fucking headache because this kick can go literally anywhere through any of these gaps, either for 50-10 or for someone to chase. Uh, you can have line breaks at literally any one of these places, and then that's giving the permanent sweeper a headache. So when you're doing permanent sweeper, it's so important 
that you're incredibly close to each other, like closer than you, you'd actually expect, like maybe even this close. Okay, really, really, really close. So you're giving up the, the wide space. What that means is that when the ball passes here, you go, you just shift across, all the way across, there, there, there. There's no way that that kick's going through. Absolutely no way. There's no kick going through. As that pass comes back along the line and is getting closer to here, you just shift all the way. Doo, 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 doo. So it's quite hard work because you have to run across. But everything should be directed by the permanent sweeper. So they can see everything from their point of view. So they should be, the defensive comms is so important from the permanent sweeper. Everything defensively should be organized by this player because they can see everything. The problem here is if you don't work hard enough in the drift defense, so if that ball is coming across and it's getting passed and these players are being lazy, and especially these players are not pushing the other players across, what can happen is you can get stuck here. So in this position, you can just have one, try and fix these players here. Once you have that, you, you've got, you know, these players can't can't do anything. You just do whoop, draw and give. You might have a, that player sort of not buy it. And then you pretty much, you know, this player fixes there, gives it to five. I will go here and it's a TV one um, into the corner. <laughs> So for a successful permanent sweeper, the permanent sweeper um, needs to act like a fullback, um, tracking the ball in the backfield, not being too deep so that it can't contest short kicks, but not too shallow so it can't protect the deep kicks, especially for the 50 tens. Just holding that sort of middle ground in here, organizing the defense um, and confident enough to be able to track and get around this entire space. It's quite a lot of space to cover. Um, so generally quicker players are better at um, being a permanent sweeper. Okay, so the other way of defending the backfield is a pendulum. And so that's the wingers working together uh, to defend the backfield. So a bit like in Union, um, where in fact in Union you would have a, a fullback with the winger. So you have a back three that would rotate like this. Uh, obviously, this isn't 15s, so you don't have that. Um, but instead, as the wingers, you can cover enough space. Um, so what happens here is you have, let's say the ball goes this way. So ball comes this way uh, and this therefore is the open side. And this is the blind side essentially. So the ball is this way as the ball travels in that direction. So going this way, this winger isn't worried about it. I mean, that pass is never going to happen. You're not going to do a, quadruple whatever that is mispass into the eight in order to attack that space so you're quite safe in knowing as this winger that you can drop into this this position here it's nice to be it's good to be behind the link you can always chat to the link the link chatting to the the winger all times just being like oh who you got the the winger saying i've still got wing i've still got wing but is protecting this space so if there's a line break that happens through here for whatever reason, you can make that tag. If there is anything else, so let's say there is a, a kick that comes this way, you can block that. Importantly, for a pendulum, as the ball, let's say the ball gets cut back and starts passing this way, as it gets closer and closer, a mistake that we make when we're doing pendulum is that the pendulum sweeper will just stay there. And this is really bad because then you've potentially got you've got this issue where you've got do and you're giving the winger heaps of space. Um, so as that ball comes down the line back towards these players, this winger has to rejoin the line and this player is now defending the backfield and doing exactly the same job just on the other side. So if a kick happens here, they can clear that up. If a kick 
goes in that direction, they can clear that up. If a line break happens through here, they should be close enough to defend the box in Super League, but also maybe make that tag. So it's really, really important for a pendulum that the two wingers are talking to each other all the time. It also requires a really good understanding of positional play. If you're out of position for whatever reason, or you're both in the backfield, you've then only got six players in defense against eight players in attack. And if you're fucking around, you can get found out. So it's really important for a pendulum that the two wingers know exactly what they're both doing. And when one goes back, they're calling the other winger to go forward. They're going like, I'm back, I'm back. You go forward, you go get in the line, get in the line, whatever. The link should also be helping out with this being like, as the ball's coming, this link should be like, fucking help. It's coming this way. It's coming this way. This person's like, okay, I'm going up, I'm going up. And then this link is saying, get the fuck back. And the wing's like, yeah, I'm dropping. And you're doing that. So every time you're sort of doing this kind of motion, if this one comes up, this one goes down. The other thing to remember is that as a pendulum winger, even if you're over here, so if the ball is, uh, let's say the ball is here, even if you're over in this space, you're defending this backfield whilst the, this winger is up, but you're also defending this winger. No one else is defending that winger. So the drift isn't as aggressive as in a permanent sweeper, where a permanent sweeper, this line would have to be moving and changing the, the who they're defending. This link is still defending this link and is leaving the winger. This winger is like, I've got last player, I've got last player. It's really important that they're really confident in that. So as that ball doo -doo 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 -doo, gets back to about here, they can reassure the link. I've got the link, I've got the wing, I've got the wing. And then as that goes in, you've got, you're fine. You're all numbered up. So for me, Pendulum is a better defensive system, um, but it relies on greater teamwork. Uh, permanent sweeper, if you've got someone who's a really confident permanent sweeper, um, then this is a really solid option as well. Um, but it does require a specialized skill set. So if you're not confident as a sweeper, um, it's probably better to go Pendulum. Uh, if you're quite confident organising a defence and getting across the whole backfield, then perhaps permanent sweeper is better um, for your team.